In this video, we're going to cover manuscript editing with EndNote. So when you get a manuscript to edit, the first thing you want to do is check and see if the author has used EndNote. And the easiest way to do that is to just click on an in-text citation. If they've used EndNote, you'll see that it highlights gray. And a little window will also pop up that shows you that they used EndNote as well. Um, so the tricky part of editing a manuscript where the author is used in note is that you can't just backspace the references out of here. So if I wanted to delete these, I can't just use the backspace key. I also can't just cut and copy and paste text around. That's because if you start deleting the EndNote citations, it will cause the document to corrupt, and that can be really frustrating. So I'm going to show you a couple of easy steps for preparing the manuscript to edit. To start editing, you want to go to the EndNote X6 tab. It only appears if you have EndNote installed on your computer. But what we want to do is we want to export to the traveling library. So to do that, we're going to go to Export to EndNote and export traveling library. Now these are just the citations that have been entered into the Word document so far. So I'm going to export them and sort of put, put them on hold while we edit. So I'm going to export the traveling library. It'll take um, a few seconds. It's going to ask you where do you want to export to. So I'm going to export to a new EndNote library. And it's a good idea to just save all your libraries in the same place. You could have a folder on your desktop or something. So I'm going to call this Manuscript 1. So what happened is it creates uh, that library called Manuscript 1 and it pulls out the references into that library. Take just a second. My export's complete, so I'll click OK. I'm going to open up the library just so you can see what it looks like. I've got 62 references in it. So now I don't really have to do anything with this library. We've just placed it on hold over here. I'll go back to my Word document. Now your second step after exporting the traveling library is just to click up, Update Citations and Bibliography. This will link your Word document to the library that you've just created um, and make it easy to edit. The third step you're going to do is you're going to convert your citations and bibliography to unformatted citations. Now this pulls out the EndNote code and puts little placeholders in place of where the in-text citations were. So a placeholder usually has the author name, the year, and the record number from in EndNote. So if I needed to start editing, I could delete a reference, so I'm going to delete this one. If I'm going to delete a reference, I want to be sure to delete the whole thing, the author, the year, and the record number. And make sure there's not a space after it. They, they um, sit side by side. You'll notice up here this one just says number one. This is because the author, the manuscript author didn't put an author here. And that may be because it's a website or something like that. But I'm going to delete that one too, just the same way. I'm going to leave the little brackets there. Do it manually there and my citations are in place. So I can cut and paste, move text around, turn track changes on. Um, so I can move text around, I can cut and paste, I can turn on track changes and make any sort of editing changes I need to make. I'm not going to interfere with EndNote whatsoever in this state. Because we've placed the citations on hold in an EndNote library and we've unformatted them, it's uh, ready for you to edit. So when you're done editing, what you want to do is click on Update Citations and Bibliography. So when you're done, you're just going to click on Update Citations and Bibliography. This is going to turn the code back on. And all your citations are still in place. So you'll notice I had removed um, two from this list up here, and my citations are intact. So one of the other things that may come up is they may have chosen a style for the journal that they're submitting to, um, and you may not have that style on your computer. So if that's the case, you can click on the drop-down menu here under Style and select another style. There's a lot of journal names listed on here, under here. So here's the Journal of Cancer Research. If that's where they were submitting to, I could select that style, and it will reformat the citations for me. Um, if the style is missing from your computer, they're incredibly simple to download online, um, and that's a quick fix for that. So now you've um, edited the manuscript, you can send it back to your manuscript author. If you have any questions about how to um, edit a manuscript with EndNote, 
Uh, you can contact the library at rml-help at mdanderson.org or you can call us at 22282 and we're happy to help.